All right, so let's look at green light laser. So with lasers, in essence, lasers are basically um, focused, it's a focused a beam of light. And the properties of that laser are gonna be dependent upon the particular wavelength. And without getting too technical, the wavelength will really guide us as to whether or not we have uh, an energy source that is poorly absorbed by water and maximally absorbed by prostate tissue, or whether or not we have a laser which results in a more cutting fashion and is absorbed in water. So different properties of laser. With green light, the wavelength is 532 nanometers. It basically means that the laser energy is poorly absorbed by water and we can transmit in a very efficient way energy through a fiber into the prostate. Green light is used in a couple of different ways. It can be used in its traditional form, which is to say that we vaporize tissue. Effectively, we put high energy into the prostate, we turn it from solid to gas, and we remove the overgrown tissue.